We are the biggest, we are the largest, we are the highest, we are the greatest, we are the tallest, we are the toughest. We are the mightiest African spiritual platform. My name is Mami Grace. Call me Empress Makida. I am Labraska the Sun Goddess. I am the Spear of Destiny. Queen Adasa is my name. Hadasha, you see Adasa. I didn't say my boba, my boba, my the sun goddess, the this, the that, the that, the that. See, see, you cry there. The can cry there. No, there. But the sand run the moon near course. And no sun near to our end. See, now that I'm wasting my time, cry. Me introduce Mr. Sedo Boko. Ana Boko. Yes. Sedo Boko. Now what was so? And run the moon near. Can can can. Any Christianity, I could do types. And no one in there to us. So we may man acquire. Me want acquire. So I know that they come our platform. So we appreciate your presence here. We are purely educational platform. We don't advertise any of our guests here. Here, there, you would have to learn. You'd have to do things all by yourself. We believe that you are capable of everything and anything. So we on kwa dey to me here dey ni na mo akwa ba mo me ma ye ma ye guess no so so akwa ba ni enhwe de ne so so e be koso papa ye mo akwa ba we welcome you once again thank you and Yo. hi everybody and greet them eh you were hi here everybody. yesterday yes, though yes i was <laughs> yes so um that's our guest for um today so yesterday is there anything you think you wanted to address yes there are a few things that i needed to address really yes okay go ahead one is about which God will worship. Every Christian knows that we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. These are very high entities within whom we live, we move, and have our being. So indeed, we worship them, but outside. In esoteric Christianity, you do not only think about the God outside, because every human being is made in the image and likeness of God which means that within every human being, that aspect of God is in him or her. It is our duty, our responsibility, our job to unfold that God within. If we do not unfold that God within, let us forget about the God outside because our physical body can never meet the God outside. It is that aspect in him who alone, that alone can go back to the Father. So. I will say that in terms of what I worship, it is God the Trinity, but that is the external one. Mine is to unfold the God within, to spiritualize the vehicles that he has given me so that I can be of more benefit to humanity and support others by teaching them that the God we are talking about, we shouldn't only look outside, but let us look within and unfold that God within. That is one of the things I want to correct. Okay. And then there mm -hmm. is this other aspect about where is Christ? It is in him we live, we move, and have our being. But since he descended more than 2,000 years ago to take over the body of Jesus of Nazareth, he has also taken over this earth planet to be its God. So everything we eat, we have an aspect of Christ in us. Everything we drink, we have an aspect of Christ in us. It is not just for a particular group of people. But the harder you work to attain spirituality, the earlier and the better for you. Okay. So you are talking about a trinity. Yes. You believe in the Bible. It is. Do you see trinity in the Bible? Of course, it is there in ample times. Please quote it. Uh, in terms of quick reference, I may not give you, but I can speak to the issue of God, Jehovah, the third aspect of the trinity, Christ, the second aspect of the trinity, and the Father, the third aspect of the Trinity. These are very high entities. They are not ordinary human beings. It is in their image and likeness that we were made. And those who are a bit spiritual know that God Jehovah is in charge of physical creation. Anything physical, that is the job of God Jehovah. And Christ is the energy behind physical creation. Christ gives life to physical things human beings, animals, and what have you. So indeed, there is the second aspect. The father is the highest, but humanity hasn't reached that stage yet to know about the father. Even Christ, we are struggling to really understand who he is. How much more the father? 
But so you, you will lead us to the Father. You are saying you are using entity for this trinity. Yeah. Who is the creator? Which among these is the creator? They themselves are creators because they have achieved divinity. So if you achieve divinity, you are able to create. So are you, no, we want to understand this. Yes. We are able to create. We all create. No, we, 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 we cannot create living things. We can only make at this stage. At this stage, humanity can only make, but humanity cannot give life. When you give life to anything you make, then you become a creator. Humanity can so only So what make. about the children we make? Oh, the children, we, all that we do is through the father and the mother, we give what is needed for the physical embodiment, but we do not give the spirit. The spirit descends into the body of, of let's say, uh, the embryo, to the fetus. By 20, 18, 21 days, the spirit then descends to take over its body. But we do not make those things. It's from God. So what is the essence of the spirit if we don't make the body? Uh, of course, the body is required for the spirit to, to, to have physical manifestation on earth. Without the body, uh, the spirit will remain in the spiritual world. But the understanding is for the spirit to come into physical manifestation and enforce its God-like qualities. So the parents make what is needed in terms of... Uh, I don't know whether I should use that word. Ah. The spermatozoa and then the, uh, the, the you, could, you can't use that word. Why? <laughs> okay. Is it abominable for it's you not, to use? It's not. It's so not. what's the problem? That is what the parents give. And then by 18th day, the spirit descends and takes over its, its home. That is how it is. So, so the parents do not give the spirit. It's impossible. So, it's when, from God. so, so when it comes to creation, is yes. human beings part of it? Yes. Human beings are going to be creators of living things in the future. Because God made us in his image and likeness so that we can also become creators. But it's a learning process. We so then why, sure why, so so then why, why do you say that human cannot create? That's what you said Yeah, earlier. we don't have that word yet that can give birth but to living But you things. just said human creates. Uh, uh, we only make. As for now, we can only use physical things, dense things, and through our own imagination, build them, model them. But to give them life, we don't have that power yet. So at this point, when the Bible says, let us create man in our own image, who and who we're talking? Um, that is basically God, Jehovah. We mention it in terms of Elohim. God, Jehovah, but he was not alone. There were millions of other hierarchies with him. So through their divinity, they gave physical embodiment. What they did was to provide the physical embodiment. If that's the case, what are we human beings doing here on earth? Why are we here? Actually, it is the spirit that is living here, not this flesh. But the spirit needs to have physical body in order to express itself. Its ultimate is to become a creator. That is its ultimate. So a descendant from the world of God with all consciousness and manifested self-consciousness at the time. Now it has to go through the spiral, we call it spiral, so that it can unfold its godlike qualities because that is our job. For instance, we have all our bodies. Every human being has seven bodies. We see only the last one, the physical body. But there is a second and there is a third. So human beings are learning how to become creators in the future. But if we do not come into the physical environment, we will not be able to do it yet. Because our spirit is basically young spirit that is going to, through this uh, process in order to become perfect. For now, we are not perfect. So now that we are here as humans, and you said we cannot create. Yes. But we can only make. Yes. So what is, what is God or the creator? What is the essence of the existence of the creator? if human beings should have not been here? Oh, the creator knows best. The creator knows best. And nobody is in the mind of the creator. But the point is that the creator always wants expansion. The creator is not stagnant. The creator doesn't go backwards. The creator is always for advancement. So anytime the creator wants to advance, it must advance through certain uh, uh, phenomena, and we are one of the phenomena. Human do you, do you believe in heaven? There is first heaven, there is second heaven, there is third heaven. The one we will go and walk on gold. Now, possibly that is the first heaven. 
but there, but there, it is not a physical thing as we are seeing it here. But it is there. The good work that we do here, we rip it when we go to first heaven. Whatever we want, we just imagine it and it comes. But you need to work for it here. If you don't do good here, don't expect any enjoyment in first heaven. The good work we do here is what to give us that enjoyment. So to, to you, it's, 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 it's heaven is a reward. Is that what you are saying? Yes, heaven is basically they're not a reward per se. Uh, but when you do good, you benefit from it. If you don't do good, uh, you don't benefit from so it. So you are saying heaven is a reward. Is that it? Yeah, it's for those who have done good. But yeah. there are others who haven't done any good. So they, they don't expect to go to uh, first heaven and enjoy anything. But they also will go to heaven. They will go to second heaven. Except that they will not have any enjoyment in first heaven. But they will go to first, second heaven where there is work to do. They will also go and do their work do, there. Who, who are doing bad? Yes, when you do bad, you first have to go to the first thing we call hell or purgatory. Okay. You, you, call, so, you so need so to I, be I am coming to make a point. Yes, please do. I want to, make a, I want to get something clear here. So you said those who are doing good. Yeah will go to heaven, that, there you imagine, and you get whatever you whatever imagine. Whatever you want, yeah. Okay, so what, when you say good, those who are doing good, what yes. is good? Yes, um, to be kind to creation, including human beings, animals, and the rest, you need to love, you need to offer service. You don't need to hurt anybody. You need to be sensitive to others' feelings and be ever ready to support them as much as your means permit. But if your means permit and you turn eyes in the other, in the other direction, indeed, you will have to pay for it. Because everything we do is recorded. Okay, so that's it. Yes. So if anybody should be doing all these things you are saying and doesn't worship, doesn't read any book, and is just there, would that person equally obtain heaven? It is one of the worst things to happen to a human being. Where the person does good, without leaking doing good to God. When the person dies, his situation is worse because he does not even believe in the existence of God. And when he gets there, he still doubts the existence of God. But whatever he means there is done by the creator. So even though the opportunity is there, that person will not take it because he has refused to acknowledge the source of what he has had or what he has seen. That is the danger. Are you saying God is the source of creation? The creator. The creator uh, is the source. But you said if the person does not acknowledge the, yes. the uh, God, yes. you use the word God. Yes. The creator. God is, is, is are you the say, Are you saying God is the creator? Yes. Uh, you know, these are issues of terminology. Uh, we have coined the word God to represent terminology. Uh, it might be something abstract, but there has to be a certain representation so that we can get some understanding of the things we mean. It's about language, and every language has its own limitation. Throughout the world, people use the word God. Which, which particular God they are referring to, uh, it, it depends on how the person expresses it. But the creator is what I mean when I talk about So why don't we say the creator? Yeah, that is okay. We can use the term creator. So are you saying our worship and um, our worship and we believe everybody, there is nobody on this earth who doesn't believe that there is someone who made this world God. or this universe. God. What people don't actually believe is when you say God, okay. then they would want to know which God you are talking about. Yeah. But it's because people believe that there is a creator somewhere. That's why they believe that I have to do r things right. I have to treat people right and all that. But they don't add the Bible, the Quran and other books to it. So I want to know those people, would they also make the heaven you are talking about? It depends on their psyche, their mind. If they refuse entirely to acknowledge that there is a creator, that is dangerous because when they get there, to whom are they going to attribute anything? And they cannot be perfect. Those people can never be perfect. They might have injured somebody along the line and they'll have to pay for it. But in purgatory or in hell, as, we, as some other people call it, you, you, your strength alone cannot enable you to go through that place. There are others who have to help you. And knowing that there are higher hierarchies, let me put it that way, who need to support you, and drawing your attention to them helps to attract them. But if you say there is nobody like that, you continue to be there 400 years you are there suffering. So if you, you do good and do everything and you don't attribute it to the creator, you will not go anywhere, but uh, you will go to hell. 
who be, who that that hell who does it belong to no um, it's not that you will go to hell you will go to an in between we call it borderline that that is how who, we call who, it. where does that place belong to it is all part of the creation but this is about the second body of this earth planet that is where you go when we die when people die it's not that they go to any other planet they are right here on earth but they are in the second body of the earth planet that that is where they go and this, this is part of the uh, creation stories of god Th this earth planet as the bible tells and us problem in the is first where minute, you people use god god of the creator we have millions All of right. gods uh, we're talking of the highest the creator not the small small gods who are also working uh, in, in, in the environment of God. But we are talking about the creator. But the creator did not create everything alone. There were others with him who supported creation. It's not that just a single being did it. Tell so, us five, five gods that were with the creator when he was creating and what they created. <laughs> let, let me put it this way. Uh, mentioning five gods who were there might, might be an overestimation of it. I wasn't there. I only read about it. I've mentioned the three aspects. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay, so what did God the Father help the Creator to create? What did the God of the Father, God, uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, yeah. what and what did they help the Creator to okay. create? They themselves are creators. They are the ones who created us. Because they have attained divinity, they have the ability to create. When they have the ability to create, we Where were they divinity. before attaining uh, uh, divinity? Where were they before attaining divinity? That is nice. That's why I always refer to our solar system. We have the bigger universe. We have the bigger God, which is the supreme, who also manifested or came out from a bigger one, which is the absolute. So God, the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we're also in the supreme being, the bigger God, who gave birth to the universe. And you know the universe is bigger than our solar system. That's why all along I was trying to limit my myself to the solar system. So that we will know that there are bigger gods. But we cannot be talking about them without even understanding the God that takes care of us. The one in whom we live, we move, and have our being. That is why I limited myself so. But there are bigger gods. Okay, so you've made us to understand God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and you have translated it your own way. So add the two. I asked for five gods. So add the two. As I mentioned the other time, every race on earth has its own God. Every race. So what is Call the God of Africans? Africans have a God, but Africans, excuse me to say, we are lazy. We are lazy. When I say we are lazy, I'm not saying everybody is lazy. We concentrate our efforts more on materiality than on love. But to a certain extent, uh, we cannot be totally blamed. Because as, as drawn over here, if you didn't mind, I can explain it. So that you see where the problem is. Then we'll no, be talking you just about answer the, the okay. question first. We want to okay. know the God of yeah. Africans. Every race, the black race has a God. Who but is that God? I, 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 don't know, I do not know it right now. You do not know it right now? Yes. But every so race which race do you know their God's name? Since you are saying every race has okay. its God and you are an African okay. and you don't know the yes. name of our yes. God. Name yes. any race that you know they are God. It's fine. We understand. Um, if you go back to the uh, Bible, the Jews, they were led by the archangel Michael. It's clear. Is angel Michael a God? That is why I say it depends on what we mean by God. At that time, they were seeing him as what? God. So you know the, the Jewish God. You don't yes. know your own God. Because Africans, more or less, we have lost our spiritual records. But they are there. It's not that they are not there. We need to work towards that. Until we work towards that, we'll be in this condition. So how far that, have you gone in working towards that yourself? Uh, yes, uh, personally, I'm still doing a bit of research. Uh, what I did so far is where we, 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 we missed the mark. Where? Where was we that? We missed the mark here, the mind. The mind, that is where we miss the mark. But we are working hard at it. All the bodies that we talked, every human being has, they were not given at the same time. Huh? Africans, yes. The bodies. I'm telling you, I said we have seven bodies. The last one is what we see, the physical body. But when we sleep, do we use the physical body? You attest that when we sleep, we Go don't to use... the etheric realm. Thank you. 
the mind, which is the fourth vehicle or the fourth body that was giving humanity, spirits, many of them in this black color, if people like the word black or dark, or whatever, were late in receiving that. Receiving what? That mind. We were late yes, in receiving it. The spirits. It's not a human being. Yes. Nego no. Yes. Yes. Ben, I, 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 Daladi. Yes. Hey. The spirits did not work hard enough. So African spirits. Yes. Those spirits in this uh, encasement, this color. Not all of us, but there are. The majority did not. So as of now. Thinking in the abstract mind is a big problem for Africans. We Hi. can think more about the concrete mind. We use it more often. So people are unable to dispassionately look at the issue from the person who is speaking. Hey. And, and the point is that the more you work in the abstract mind, the more you can have contact with the human spirit and bring down inventions. A lot of the inventions that we see are uh, as a result of picking things from the abstract mind, not the concrete mind. And many Africans, we are yet to think more in the abstract mind. That is where the challenge is. That is where we miss it. But it doesn't mean that we cannot recover. So it's the body? Yeah. Or is the color? Or the, is it Oh my God, or yeah. is the God that created us? No. Who made see, that mistake? Nobody made a mistake. We made a mistake ourselves. The spirit made the mistake itself. African spirit? Every human being in Africa, I'm not saying African spirit. Ah, uh, but. Every human being in Africa in this black color, when the spirit was coming down, it picked what it can based on the work it has done previously. It is a fact. People may not know it because these things are spiritual. People hardly know it. When the spirit was coming down, it picked only that which it has worked for. Which is? If you do good, if you exercise your, your qualities well, in the spiritual realm, when the spirit is coming down, it will pick things that will enhance those things. Now, we all know that when, when you are able to lift yourself, then when the uh, knowledge is coming from etheric realm, no matter how you reduce, you are able to grab it. We understand that we are to bring the issue to Africans. Yes. Um, Africans, as I was saying earlier on, when the first body was given, and the second body was given, and the third body was given, oh, we all receive it. But when the fourth one, which is the latest, the latest body that was given by God to humanity is the mind. When it was given, we did not work sufficiently Yes, we did not work sufficiently to receive it. But now we, we have it. But what we have is not as compared to others. Limited edition. Limited edition, that's what we have now. Hey! <laughs> others had, have had it earlier on. Others they, like? The whites. Huh? Yes, the yellow race. They receive it earlier on. That's why they're able to work faster. Are you saying the white works faster than us? Uh... Uh, I don't want to go into generality. No, no, don't yes. say, wait, this is a matter but, of uh, you, life and death. Yes, but the point is that physically, if you look at the discipline among whites and you compare to Africans, there is a problem. What is that problem? We are highly indisciplined. And discipline is a quality of the spirit. I know that I am poor. Discipline is a quality Maybe of the Christ spirit. If we are not disciplined, it shows clearly where we are. So who will give us mind? If, I mean, in a good time, it will take us time to receive that. Hey. Uh, because there is a higher use of the mind and there is a lower use of the mind. Mm. We may use the mind selfishly. Selfishness. The reptilian yes, yes. Selfishness is one of the lowest areas a human being can operate. But oh. it is needed. It is in needed for, for us to learn the lessons so that we can become more improved. But when we remain in it, that is where the problem is. We can talk about Africa maybe another time. Uh, but not Africans another time. You can't tell us that <laughs> when we were catching, so our brain, what is the level between a, white, a, a black brain and a white brain? As of now, we all have the four bodies, whether white, black, or whatever. We all have the four bodies. Uh -huh. But how you exercise it, 
Yeah, the only exercise. We are not exercising it enough. We so are what not, is he doing there, Akeki? Uh, well, we are using it around concrete things, uh, money, uh, mm, guitars. Uh, mm. That's all that we think of. Instead of concentrating on God, hey, wait, we God are the thinking of what Concentrating on the Creator. We don't. Mm, don't use God. Yo, I've heard you. Mm. <laughs> I've heard you. <laughs> so you can't reduce the Creator to that. I hear you. I mean, that's my point. Exactly. I agree with you. So Africa has a real spirit. It's not that we don't have it. And it's also working hard, very hard, to bring us up. But I admit, the coming of Christianity, though it is good, also has some negative impact. Because the quality of a race spirit is to make sure that you obey the laws. The, the, the race spirit influences everybody to observe the laws. Don't steal. Don't bear false witness. The Ten Commandments, as we have it in the Bible, every race spirit has it, whether white, whether yellow, or whatever. Natural laws. Yes, they are there. But since Christianity came, we mistakenly, excuse me to say, thought that the coming of Christianity has nullified a lot our, of things. Our, our, our gods in Africa is a lie. Oh. Until we fulfill the laws, we are not heading towards Christianity in a better form. Because Christianity is to enhance the law. And we need to internalize the law. We don't need to be told again, don't steal. You should know it within yourself that I don't have to steal. So at this point, this brain thing, yes. is, it part of the, is it part of the reason why we are selling all the minerals in? Yes, because, because a lot of people, excuse me to say, uh, who are even in leadership position, one, they don't even know the purpose of life. Hey. Yes, uh, and that is one of the major problems of Africa. We are not well attuned to the purpose of life. Assembly. Yes, so we think that it is grabbing property here and there. That is what the purpose of and life is And threatening people for saying uh, the that truth. That is not it. It is love that is the basis for development. Oh. So, so people may be in good positions but because they don't know the purpose of life. And they, they don't can't care live, about souls. They can't live about, by it. Uh, we run into such difficulties. That is, I said we can talk about Africa on a bigger note. Okay, we, so we, much we to talk say. about Africa. Yeah, there's so much to say. Hey, about it's Africa. Your but, but, but there is, there is improvement. It's not that we are going backwards. There is improvement in Africa compared to many years back. Where do you see the but, improvement? Oh, to yes. give me like two BPs. Yes, of, of the improvement. Uh -huh. well, in terms of education, we are increasing in education, and education opens up your mind. Are you school now? Yes. Uh, that is about character. It's about behavior. It's about attitude. But the, the, the mind as is used to grab. It can also be used to support. You see, that is why the difference is. But when we have education, it expands our mind. You know, I, when I was in, at the university, I once conducted a brief uh, research uh, to ask my colleagues, why are we uh, in university? Why do we want tertiary education? And they say, okay. Uh, I want a good life, I want a wife, I want a good house, I want a good job, just like that. When I happened to be in the U.S., I asked, why are you having tertiary education? And I was surprised. The young man told me, I am having this education in order to support those who don't have it. I thought he was telling me a lie. I went to a second person. Why are you having uh, university education? Say, yes, I'm having a university education in order to support those who never had it. So you can see the contrast. And you say, you know, I join now. university, you know, and I join now. The half one African for no one. African for no more go school, no. Any African for no more, they half now na akano. What's the difference between these two be people when they are working? Well, how would you determine? You are right. That is how come the educated African will have to take a second look at himself or herself and ask, Am I really helping my people? Am I really helping my community? Or I am just looking what is supposed to go to all of us. We need to. Otherwise, there will be no difference between the one who has gone having uh, edu education. The one who has we, because yes. let be Otherwise, there will be no difference. Mami, I no call the parliament here now. Oh, on camera, we say no. Because I no more sir. No more than any comedian, Kranesa. It is almost a Marcos school. No more doing this. I am not media half here. I am this here. Yeah. No, What is the essence? Yeah, that is it. The educated African must prove that he or she has had that education in order to support others. That person must be a little ahead of others in terms of reasoning and then helping people to also uh, be lifted up. 
Th that is key. Is it but, happening? Is it happening? Well, I, I will not say generally it's happening, but at least we have elements of it happening. Except we need to make it happen some more. That how, is why we need to. How do we do that? One is about reorientation of people. It takes time for this to happen. It is not a one-day job. People will need to have the listening ear that the path that we have chosen will lead to distraction. We need to make a change. When that realization comes, the big question is, what change do we make? And then those who have the strategic mind, for you to have the strategic mind, you must stick in the abstract. And if the person is limited in the abstract, it will be difficult to come up with a strategy. But are you saying it is book that makes the persons? Not necessarily, but there is an advantage. There is an, an advantage when you uh, are educated formally. There is, because it sharpens your reasoning. And it sort of makes you to think faster in terms of the abstract things, unlike the concrete. Abusia? But it is not everybody who goes to school who automatically is ahead of all those who haven't gone to school. It doesn't work like Maybe that. My, eh? Yeah, before school, people were very intellectual, people were very learned, and they help. Uh, it's not a formal education that was the basis or foundation for a civilization. Hmm, Abusia, I think about Kasa about Africa one day, and today I mean, I'm not doing now, I have for Nidia, I'm not ready. I'm not going to have it. When you uncle Pombo, Nippany, we know my brother, no, or boy, or be beneath, or they fight for she, Muno, or see, or Kofaka, see, and a bass, a hundred do, gig, or buy an up be beneath Jane Co. And now, Yanko wants to be beneath Brana Mimbo, who we are yet, be beneath our dear, five for nine. Well, it's something it's nice to have stories like that. Uh, we'll talk about it one day, and you'll be surprised why we are like this. Even, even though the first race, if I should use the word race, uh, maybe the first culture uh, is black, but people have moved out of the black color based on the way that was done by the spirit. You see, before we come down, the spirit is given what he's supposed to do. And you cannot take over there what you haven't worked for. Mm -hmm. There is no corruption there. There is no bribery there. You are given exactly what you deserve. Hmm. So as we have seen ourselves in this situation now, what we want to be in the future, we need to work towards it. Yeah. If we don't work towards it. Are we it, working towards it in a church or um, a, 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 um, Allah who are by the side, or we are working towards it in an ananum, the toy toy, the woody stuff? Where do you think it can be faster? Yes. Um, the purpose for the spirit is self mastery. I mentioned it the other time. Self mastery, self dependence. That's what I mean by it. For you to be self-dependent, you need some basics. And that is what we are going through. For some people, they are yet to have even that basic. Others have had it. So if you want to do some classification, we are at different levels. So there should be something to meet the need of somebody. So if somebody goes bowing to uh, the fetish or small god, we should accept it. But let's educate the person to know that there is something higher. Just as it is happening even with Orthodox Christianity, not many people know that there are deeper teachings, deeper sides of Christianity. They thought going to church, going through the rituals, and loving, that is it. It is. It is not wrong. But there are things higher than that. When you really say you are a Christian, for us to really say we are Christians, we should be able to move consciously into our spiritual body. Hmm. That is what makes us Christians. This physical body is for a purpose. It's to help us to move to the second body, which is just about six inches mm -hmm. above this physical body. And then we can move on again. It is when you move to this second body, that is when you become born again. That is why I'm saying that looking at the church, the religion, religious bodies in Ghana, yeah. are they moving? That's the question. Yes, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ mentioned there will be the false ones too but there will be the good ones too, and there are. The point is the teachers must teach the people the correct thing so that they can be uplifted. There are the wrong teachers. For instance, I'll give an example. When our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted, he gave clear indication of how spiritual power should be used. One, you cannot use it to benefit yourself. Hmm. You can never you use cannot spiritual use it to power. Show off. That is popularity. You can't yeah. use it. So if you want to look at some churches and these standards that have been set by our Lord Jesus Christ, it looks like some of them are falling off. It is time to take stock again 
of what the church is doing. There is something wrong when the leaders meet. And that is what esoteric Christianity is talking about. That you as an individual, you take stock of yourself and know what you need to do to grow spiritually. Hmm. So that at the end, you can move consciously into the second body. It doesn't mean that when you move into the second body, which is for Christ, this physical body is for Jehovah. But the second body is for Christ. When Christ was there, he never talked about how to make money because his kingdom is not of this world. His kingdom is the next body. When he comes, so we can use it, fly and meet him. It then means that our religious leaders must be thinking of what do we do to bring a new thing to our congregants. Not a tight new offering. Eh? That is also not bad. Uh, I, I do not, I do not. Is it going to help us get there? Uh, That's the question. Of course, uh, those things are needed for certain things. The, uh, we are talking about the body uh, ye, uh, ye types. Uh, ye kum. Christ, the yes. Jehovah, the yes. yes. Christ, the yes. and I'm asking you, say tight no. offering. No, uh, no. Does it help no, us no, in no. getting me? No, no, no material thing can ever, ever make you move into that second body. Yes. No material thing can ever do it. So when when kumians when 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 kumians reabe kai mies when kai mians reabe kai mies. What can do it? Love, service. That is key. And when we talk of love, we talk of service. It is not a selfish one. You love somebody because you need the person's body. That is not love. Mm. You are helping somebody because you want the person to pay you back nicely. Hey, hey, that is no hey, service. What, who if he doesn't get what he wants here, then he jump to another place, go no. and cause confusion. It doesn't work Africa like that. for you, there, okay. And so one day we talk about Africa, and you get the details of it, and you realize okay. that wow. Yo, you get into your topic. You are uh, you are coming to finish with the. Uh, what you taught us yesterday, exactly. esoteric Christianity. Yes. So please take us through. Okay. Esoteric Christianity is saying that there is something more to esoteric Christianity. Popular Christianity is good, but it is just the foundation. If we remain at only the foundation, the outwardness of it, then we are not going to Christ. Mm. It is when we try to see what those things represented in the Bible mean to us as human beings that we begin to take those necessary steps. Every human being has seven bodies, as I mentioned so far. And the whole Bible is about the journey of the spirit into physical matter. And it's going back to God. That is what the whole Bible is about. But these things have been written and represented by physical things. So people think that it's the physical things as mentioned in the Bible, which is all that there is. There is mm. more to it. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, aspects are in us. Of course, in the New Testament, it's clearly stated that this is our body, the temple of the living God. And we are also told that there is Christ within. Now, esoteric Christianity will help you to unfold the Christ within. If you don't unfold the Christ within, you can never meet the Christ without. No two ways. Mm. When he comes, you can praise him thousand times a day. So long as you have not awakened the Christ within you, you can never meet that Christ without. And esoteric Christianity will now tell you that this is what you have to do to awaken that Christ within. And I like this diagram here because it will explain it some more so that people can understand what we really mean when you are a Christian. Esoteric Christianity talks about the spirit, spirituality of Christianity. The spirituality of Christianity, not just the outward one, but you need to know the outward one first before you can understand. For instance, if we talk about the aspect of divine spirit in us, and we say that it is in the frontal sinus, if we talk about the second aspect, the Christ, and we mention the pineal gland, or you go to the third aspect, which is Jehovah or the Holy Spirit, and you talk about the pituitary gland, people would ask us, so it means all those things are in us. Why we are actually made in the image and likeness of God, it is more spiritual than what people think. So esoteric Christianity will teach you that if you want to awaken the Christ in you, so that you can meet him when he comes, 
this and this and this is what you have to do. The first thing you're going to learn is your body. Who are you? Why are we on earth? We say we are Christians. Not many people even know their body. I have mentioned that every human being has seven bodies. They vibrate according to the level that they are. The one with the slowest vibration is this physical body. There is a second body, which is for Christ. That is what will be used when he comes back. Christ is not going to come back in the physical body, unlike mm. 2,000 years ago when he descended and used the body of Jesus of Nazareth. Christ will come back, and he will use the second body of Jesus of Nazareth. Every human being has the second body, the etheric body. It is about six inches above the physical body. Every human being has the third body. Every human being has the fourth body. We have worked sufficiently in this physical body. We are transiting to the second body, which is for Christ. I don't have a problem, no. That is what he has come to teach us. Christ came to teach us what to do to move into the second body. All these bodies are linked to the earth planet. So as the earth planet is transforming, we are required to be transforming ourselves. We did. Thank you. Mm. Otherwise, the time will come when physically we will not survive, just as it was in the days of Noah. And if I may but go there back. There will be reactions. Yes. Mm. In the days of Noah, you know what happened? Then humanity were not having lungs. We were not. People thought that creation is just uh, six days of fiat from God and things happen. Creation took millions upon millions of years. And if you look at or you try to study how human life developed on this planet by going through uh, anthropology, what the people say about us, you realize that human beings have gone through phases. And if somebody says no, you can see the way the future develops. Those are the stages that we have gone through. So indeed, during the time of Noah, we were not having lungs. We didn't even have our eyes open as it is now. But the good news was being preached. The good news of doing good. Be nice to people. People did not matter. Nobody cared. Only a few. Now, Noah, uh, Noah's time, people shouldn't think that it is just a certain Noah and some family people. It's about humanity, all of us. Every human being you have seen today on earth, esoteric Christianity will tell you that we were here before. And we are just continuing what we did in the past. We qualified. So what happened was that when there was that rainfall, those who developed the lungs breathed the air. Those who couldn't develop the lungs will have to remain where there is water so that they can take out oxygen from the water in order to breathe. If somebody says no, then the person can go back and see the development of the fetus and see when the lung is actually used. What happens when the baby comes out? When they, it, it is hit, then the lungs begins to work. But initially, the lung doesn't come all of a sudden like that. It takes a process of development. So the second thing will happen. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ referred us to the days of Noah. We are building the next body. Depending on the work we do, depending on the good we do, the second body is being built gradually. Materiality doesn't build the second body. You mm. can have 1,001 houses. Mm. You can have many cars, but it will never add a single thing to this second body. You can praise God from morning to evening. It won't add a single thing to this second body. What adds to the second oh, body love, love, is love, service. Love, 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 love. Loving, self-forgetting service. That is the building block for this. But there are some other exercises too that esoteric Christianity will teach you so that you can more or less fast track your spiritual mm. development. When our Lord comes, this earth will be transformed. There will be no oxygen. When we breathe, we take in oxygen because we have a physical lungs. There will be no water. It means that all these things that are needed 
for the physical body. Mr. Papa, we did. No, we be able to carry bangwa sembia. Dangerous things. We be a Christian, we be able to carry some bangwa. We to turban to bebo. Just everybody that will talk about this God, they come in disaster. Ah, it will happen. But nobody knows when. But the changes are coming. If you look at the Earth planet, scientists keep telling us that we are running out of oxygen. We are running out of nitrogen. We are running out of some very important gases. It's a natural process. But our own activities are fast-tracking all those things. So it is important that we actually think of what esoteric Christianity says. It is about developing your spiritual body. Hmm. And Paul has placed emphasis on that severally. Paul, we. The Apostle Paul has placed emphasis on that severally. You know, in, in John chapter 3, which I love, I love to read it every time, where Jesus had that encounter with Nicodemus. Jesus dropped the key in that conversation with Nicodemus. When he talked about being born again, it's good to go to the altar. Let the pastor take you through. But that is symbolic. If you look at verse 10 of that, because Nicodemus was asking Jesus Christ, could I go back into my mother's womb and be born again at his age? And our Lord asked him, you, with this, your position, you don't know this? Because at that level, Nicodemus is supposed to know these basic things about life. Do we know these things? That is what esoteric Christianity will be teaching people. It won't take long. It will be open. So that people will see the reality of life. Not just about a group of people calling themselves uh, Christianity or that, trying to hijack Christ for themselves. It's good mm. to say that you are a believer in Christ. But what matters is living the spiritual life. So when the trumpet sounds, because the trumpet shall surely sound, those who are able to build that second body will fly with it. Fly? Yes. Let's say so. Fly, let, fly, let's say so. Because actually, the etheric body, it levitates. It doesn't uh, fly. But, but sometimes when That's you use the word. Use projection yes, and yes. All that. It levitates. Those who cannot, they will gravitate. And mm. the higher you go into the spiritual world, the higher the vibration, depending on who you are, what you have done, and your quality. That is the way it is. So esoteric mm. Christianity teaches you not to seek just a God outside, but to develop yourself spiritually in preparation for the next world that will come. And it will come. No two ways about it. Mm. And it will come, oh, the survival of the fittest. <laughs> uh, it will come. You say flying time, no dear. Now fly in a man for a levitating name. So, hey, 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 hey. So, what and what do you think we have to do now? Now Good. we understand that in the churches, some of them are not doing this esoteric Christianity. Yeah. So, it's a waste of time. They are still in class one. Let, let's put it that way. Yeah. And we are preaching for them too. So, someone might be watching us who would want to do this thing all by him or herself. Because that's what I'm actually preaching, that okay. um, um, self-consciousness. Like, you liberate yourself, and then you, you work on yourself to know the power or the, your energy point, the seven lives, like you said. That's what I'm preaching. So yeah. people are watching us now. Okay. Is there anything you can teach us individually so the person practice this thing all by him or herself? Okay. To develop as a Christian, what our Lord Jesus Christ taught us is to enable you to be self-dependent, not to rely on any outside entity. If you rely on any outside entity, you are not following our Lord Jesus Christ. But it's a process. Esoteric Christianity tells you to love God, your neighbor, offer service, not for yourself, for the sake of others. Now, if you want to move spiritually and to move into that second body, you cannot force it yourself, but you will have to keep doing the good. There are some exercises that are key to reforming 
yourself. Give us. One of the key exercises, I'll mention just two, is retrospection and concentration. There are others like adoration, contemplation, but the two ones that I've mentioned, retrospection and concentration, are good for every Christian, even if you are not a Christian, if you don't call yourself a Christian. Because as I mentioned earlier on, it is actually when you move into that second body that you can call yourself a Christian. Okay, so if, if somebody, <coughs> Asamu, yes. so the, the Muslims and the Shinto, Shintos and yeah. Uh, he, uh, do, do, uh, you know, shin, 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 exactly. shin, and all the rest. Exactly. If they practice this, and they have this, and they've taken Christ out of the, their equation, are they still in line? Taking Christ out of the equation is not about your way, though. It's about deeds. Call yourself whatever religion you belong to. Once you are doing good, and you are building this body, a time will come you'll be born again. Christ doesn't bother much about how you call yourself. He is interested in what you do. So if you belong to any other religion, because all religions have been given by Jehovah to, to all of us, if you belong to any other religion and you are practicing the good and you are building this vital body, this etheric body, which belongs to Christ, definitely you'll be part of Christ because Christ is a universal spirit. It's universal. It's not exclusive to a certain group of people. So once you practice and you do good, why not? You know, our Lord Jesus Christ gave an example of someone who says, uh, I'll go when he, he, was, he was sent by the Father. But he didn't go. And the one who said, I won't go, he rather went deep into himself and said, oh no, I have to change. And went and did it. That is the way it is. It doesn't really matter how you call yourself. Once you are doing good, you are building that body. But there is something extra about the one who says he's a Christian. Because one, he knows who is Christ. We don't go to God in ignorance. He knows who is Christ. And that is what, unfortunately, not many churches know, that there is a difference between Jesus of Nazareth, Christ, and Jesus Christ. Not many churches know that. As I mentioned the other time, Jesus of Nazareth belonged to our human race, mm. the purest body that can ever be found. And he made available to Christ, who descended from the Most High. And if you want a representation of it, he is the energy behind the sun that we see. The physical sun is the embodiment of Jehovah. Hmm. But the energy behind the sun is Christ. We have just reached mm -hmm. September 21st. The Christ spirit is coming down again mm -hmm. for our sake. Now, so... Anybody who does that good builds that etheric body to a certain point that the two higher will separate from the two lower. The etheric body is divided into four. I mentioned it the other time. If you look at the Garden of Eden, we talk about the river that parts in four streams, more or less. Mm, yeah, river. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 please. Uh, of course, there are different churches meeting every demand. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, these four streams represent the four ethers. Two take care of this physical body, and two takes, of the, takes care of the higher ones. When the person does good, it gets to a point that the person begins to shine his spiritual body. You can see the spiritual body with the physical eye. And that spiritual body attracts those who will come and teach the person how to separate the two higher bodies the from, the, from two, the chaff. Yes, the two lower mm. ones. Then the person becomes born again. We understand this. Our problem is the Jesus you are adding to all these things. The Jesus, you, are, you said somebody who know Christ is there's advantage for that person. Yeah. Uh, you know, yes. and you are saying Christ is different from Jesus Christ. Yeah. And Jesus Christ is different from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Am I correct? Yes. Let me explain. All that. these Jesus, 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 Let me explain. Jesus. Yes. Mm, let's explain Jesus it. is, or may I say was, the holiest person over 2,000 years ago. The which one? The Nazareth one? Jesus of Nazareth. Okay. At the time Jesus of Nazareth was born, there were some other people who also go with the name Jesus. They are different from Jesus of Nazareth. 
uh, excuse me to say, many writers confuse that Jesus with Jesus of Nazareth because that Jesus was also spiritually developed, but he was not Jesus of Nazareth. Now, Jesus of Nazareth, as I was saying, in the previous life was King Solomon. Mm. Yes, in the previous life was King Solomon. Of course, there is, there is attestation to it, if you go back to the Go Bible. ahead. Now, his singular objective in life was to make his body, this physical one, and the second body we talked about, available to the Christ spirit to descend and use. The objective is to save the earth planet, not the individual. Salvation, as we talked about, is for the earth planet, not for any single individual. Mm. Individuals who have to work to justify the salvation. Mm. So when Jesus of Nazareth was born by very highly, highly developed couples, Joseph and Mary are not ordinary human beings. But it was, the, it was Joseph, it was not Mary and Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, sometimes during the course of writing of the Bible, certain things were more or less adjusted. Yeah, our reflect. time is, is due. You yes. said they were born with this couple. Yes. I'm asking a simple question. You say yes, so you continue. I want you to finish that thing yes. on the board. Yes. Je Joseph and Mary, they are son Jesus. Is it the Holy Spirit that made them or they, they did it? Okay. Uh, let me explain this way. Procreation is a holy act. Humanity abused it. Did Joseph, Mary and Joseph, Joseph did it? Yes. But uh -huh. I want to explain that it wasn't the type of procreation we do. It was a holy one. And the angels are in charge of procreation. Did they do it? Yeah, under different circumstances. They did it. They didn't do what we do? Uh, we, not the way we do it. What did they do? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, so what did they do? Is it is it squat? Is it? I don't want to be a sport girl here. According to the did law, did they do what human? The law did? is there has to be an ovum and there has to be what a spermatozoa. Did they do that? Of course, there was a the, meeting of that. There was a meeting of not that. the Holy Spirit. How can a spirit sleep with a human being? Hey. It has to be a human being to a human Revelations. being. Revelations. That is that is the law of <laughs> nature. It has to be a human being to a human being. That's why we have that. But the circumstance, that's why we call it immaculate conception. That act was a holy act. We, we just want to understand. It, okay, that is it. Because a Christian will tell you that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born with Mary and, 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 and Holy Spirit. You've heard this multiple times. I've heard this multiple so times. So we wanted to get that clarification oh, from you. There was but physical touch. There was physical touch. Joseph yeah. Sulutu, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there was. That, that, that's okay. So Jesus of Nazareth was prepared by the Essenes. You know, we have the Pharisees, we have the Sadducees, all those group, religious people. There was this group also called Essenes. They mm -hmm. lived around the Dead Sea area. Mm -hmm. They prepared Jesus of Nazareth with that single objective to make his physical body and the next body the eternal body available to the christ so at the baptism indeed the christ spirit descended and took over the body of jesus so so this and is christ uh, that, that is I why mean, jesus I, add, add some a few minutes to it this that is me. that is how come jesus became jesus christ the, the, so the first one the joseph's um a child was uh, the nazareth jesus one. of nazareth uh, is he the why the husband of mary magdalene of course. Of course. Father, continue. Show us the one on the board. Our time of is course. done. And then the Christ, as we said. Uh -huh, the Christ is the important. The Christ has never gone through any human evolution. He never belongs to the human race. Is he not the one that's sitting inside of us? Yes, that's why I'm coming to show now. Please show us. <laughs> yes. Show us. The spirit. Show them. The spirit has three aspects. Give them showdown. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do a bit of showdown here. Showdown. <laughs> we now, are the biggest and yes. the largest. Yes. Uh. The spirit has three aspects. Mm -hmm. We have the highest aspect, mm -hmm. which is the divine spirit, followed by the second aspect, which is the life spirit, then followed by the third aspect, which is the human spirit. These are the three aspects of the spirit, and we call it the trinity. Mm. But this is the ego in us. Another word we can use when these three aspects combine is the ego. 
Then we also have the personality. The personality is how these reflect in us. The highest principle, which is the divine spirit, reflects in this physical body as we see it. So you can see the highest being the lowest there, the physical body. This is the lowest. Then we have the life spirit. This is the Christ we are talking about. Reflects here the lower aspect, the vital body. The Christ reflects. So until we wake on this vital body. That's where the crucifixion takes place. Good. Until we wake on this vital body, we should forget it. And the vital body is tied to the physical body at the areas that Jesus Christ was pierced on the cross. That, the palms, that's where it was tied. That is where Jesus Christ was pierced. And our job is to loosen it. We also must be crucified to liberate mm. the spirit. Then we can say it is accomplished. Now, the third aspect, which is the human spirit, reflects over here. So, every human being has the three higher aspects and has also the three lower aspects. The three lower aspects is the personality. The last one is the physical body. This is the one that we see. Then there is the link between the spirit and the personality. And this is the mind. Each of these is divided into seven realms. If when you go here, you have seven when you come here, you have seven. When you come here, each one of them is divided into seven areas. Which means that the world as we see it is not an ordinary place. This earth planet we do everything on is a spirit by itself. Its hard body, like the way we have physical body, is what we move on. It also has... The vital body, it has the third body, which we call the desire body. And all that we are doing, we are picking it from the earth. It means that there is an interchange between us and this earth planet. It means we must conduct ourselves well on this earth planet. We don't have to do things that will affect the earth planet. Let's say mining. Let's say mining. It's good when we are breaking heavy, heavy rocks. Is very good. But when we are putting chemicals, chemicals upon chemicals, it is not only affecting the planet, it is also affecting us. The earth planet will not wait for us. It is also going through changes because it is one of the spirits, the seven spirits before the throne. The earth planet is one of the seven spirits before the throne. So if we want to actually develop, we need to work here first. As for this one, more or less, we are through it. The tax now is this the one. The crucifixion. The tax now is to free this spirit huh. from this hard embodiment. And the way to doing it is what our Lord Jesus Christ has come to teach us. Everything in the Bible is talking about what we need to do to free the spirit from this physical body. When we free the spirit from this physical body, then we will know that, oh, actually, this is the purpose of life. For now, uh, we may be like a desica, but the task is to free the spirit from the body consciously. Not when we sleep. When we sleep, the spirit comes out. Automatically. Automatically. We don't even know how we fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But when we develop it, we will consciously step we out that, through the head, not the down. When you go through the down, then you are going towards another direction. Mm -hmm. You need to come out from the head. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. That's why in Golgotha, they mention over the heart, skull. Mm. Between the parietal and occipital lobe, between those two, the spirit comes out. And when babies are born, you can see like a briefing place somewhere. Mm. Yes. That is how it is. So the job, the task for humanity is to develop the spiritual body. And the way to developing it Loving, self-forgetting service. It has nothing to do with how much wealth you have. Because you mm. can never use wealth to buy this body. Mm. It's impossible. God did not make it like that. Can anybody show us anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ talked about wealth, physical wealth, or rich? He never bothered himself because he's talking about his next kingdom, which will come. 
And the, what we need to do to move to the next kingdom, there is only one thing. Loving, self-forgetting, service. That is the essence of Christianity. It is only that which will build this body so that at the right time, the higher ethers will separate as one from the two lower eaters. Mm. The two lower eaters, they handle our physical. All that we do in the physical body, procreation, digestion, assimilation, circulation of the blood, the two lower eaters do that. But the two higher eaters, they help us in terms of consciousness. Mm. And we cannot go to God be blind. In fact, we cannot even levitate there. Because the way the spiritual world is structured, the way it is structured, if you are not pure, you cannot levitate. The rate of vibration will not enable you to levitate. Mm. You can only gravitate. Mm. So as Christians, esoteric Christianity will tell us what we need to do precisely. Not just about the lovely stories in the Bible, mm. but how do they apply to you as an individual? And how can you use that to unfold your spiritual potentials? This is the point. You don't develop spiritually in order to be yourself. So that everybody will see, oh, you are the one with the highest spiritual. No, no. That is not the essence of spiritual development. The essence of spiritual development is to help others. Mm. Any other one is not genuine. To help others. Yo. Our time is, oh, is gone. Mm. It's to help others. We should, we should bring him life. If you think you feel so, write it in the comment section. Listen, people, I'm not a demonic somebody. I'm not a witch. I tell you, I wish as well. When you get to this level, you will never sell lithium. You won't. When you get to the, you people are asking me, that will be say, who are for way one who banna sebi, who are for way japa de any match and the men are more tech more was up in me and mobisa me, men are me manager. Come see maybe sa, maybe santi. So what ha, what happened to uh, the, the Bible scripture that said, none shall be barren in my land? Okay, maybe sa a question we won't. Ni ye muna mi peo. Ni ye mu. If this is happening in church. Tell me why divorce and now Obani Bema pray dying home never find a cozy. If this thing is going on in church, who would who would actually talk? Then they, when I say the son is is Christ, I become de demonic. When I say crucify the Kundalini and make rising up, Nakosro, I become share any simple. I told you about the spirit. I told you about the mind. And, and what else do you want to hear? This is what we are talking about. And yes, sir, more spirit in Tino, be a obis, than we are obis, or your Jesus, or your Kaki, or your Muhammad, or your Krishna, or your Kwame Kruma, or your, or your, or your, or your Ghana. We need Papa, and we are singing because we are born tenty. I'm not condemning anybody. We are all learning. But the point I'm trying to make is that. Spirituality is not like who who she was as they are making it. So what could she angel be? What she will be as soon? How born in tabe mne in suo fiyegu? It's all about working on yourself, and this is what I'm talking about. The crucifixion part is where we should all work around it. And then ya ye chakwana bo nechesi ye tumi movie ko e banisa. You will not even hate me. This is what we are talking about, too, Papa. Give them a, the advice. Let's bring him life and so that I can ask him questions. He said Mary and Joseph saluted. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Papa, we. I am mummy and two of Me say, Mary Magdalene, on any ma, on my sefo, these things, they are there. It's reality. You can travel there to go and meet this generation. As I say, we, how do you talk about it? You and two of your bupon to you, near Lebo Brunsam, Abusia. Your last words, your advice. We are done. Our time is past. Okay. Friends, once again, we have looked at another aspect of Christianity and some of the things that openly might not be taught. As I said earlier on, we cannot worship God in ignorance. We need to be wise enough. And to be wise enough, we must not remain at only where we are. Orthodox Christianity is good. The teachings as we are all receiving is good. But there is something higher. We need to aspire to knowing what is that which is higher and what should we do. 
esoteric Christianity gives you the cues as to what you should do as an individual to improve upon yourself in Christ, not just by words, by defined exercises and loving self-forgetting service. You will know more about yourself and the relationship between you and the Creator. You will know more about yourself and the relationship between you and others. You will know more about the relationship between you and even those below the level of humanity, talking about the animals, the plants, and the rest. And you will know that you have a role to play, and you cannot play that role in ignorance. It is important that mm. we know the deeper teachings of Christianity, so that when we reform our lives, we are making definite effort to reform our life. And as I mentioned earlier on, two exercises are important. One is retrospection, where you seek to reform yourself. You cannot go to God, you cannot go to Christ without reforming yourself first. You need to reform yourself first. And retrospection is about playing back daily mm. how you have lived your life in the day. Did you cheat somebody? Did you exhaust somebody? What was your thought? What were your actions? Are they good enough? Judge yourself according to the principles of Jesus Christ. And ask yourself, have I lived that life in the day? If you haven't, make sure that the next day you live that life. And then there is also this aspect where you praise yourself for the good things that you have done. You need to praise yourself. And Paul said, I die daily. It's a process of reviewing yourself and experiencing yourself on a better note. That is what we have to do as Christians. Let us go by our Bible, but let us also know that there are others that explain the Bible better so that we are not ignorant in our faith, but we back our faith with knowledge, spiritual knowledge, in order to meet Christ when he comes again. We need to be born again, but the born again is not symbolic. We need to build the spiritual body. We may not do that with our own strength, but Christ has shown the way, and there are people to support us to do it, if only we live the good life. Thank you very much. Hmm, thank you very much, O. Oh. Abusia, ah, uh, Ochiami Onim Kasa. Hmm. Ose wa sumwa, mi nshade ni bebre isa ha ameka. So what you say? Mi nshade ni bebre isa ha ameka. A word to a wise is in a boko bi. Makrao. 